Something massive is about to happen in our Milky Way, an imminent nova explosion that erupts once every 80 years, and at some point it could go supernova. What does this mean for our planet Earth? How will this affect us? Is a new star about to replace our Sun? A rare cosmic eruption is expected to happen in the Milky Way in the coming months. This event, called a nova outburst, will be so bright that a new star will appear for a short time in the night sky. Sky watchers will witness a rare event, since the star systems where such explosions occur are uncommon in our galaxy. Curious about the cosmic fireworks headed our way? Let's dive into the impact of this colossal explosion on our solar system by exploring the intriguing dynamics of the binary star system. The upcoming stellar eruption is expected to occur in the system known as T Coronae Borealis, situated 3,000 light-years away from Earth. T Coronae Borealis, otherwise known as the Blaze Star, is a binary system in the Corona Borealis that includes a dead white dwarf star and an aging red giant star. When stars deplete their hydrogen fuel, they evolve into red giants. In approximately 5 to 6 billion years, our Sun will undergo the same transformation, expanding and shedding layers, potentially affecting the inner planets of the solar system. The stars in the orbiting pair are close enough to each other that they interact violently. Over time, the red giant becomes increasingly unstable as it heats up, shedding its outer layers onto the white dwarf star. This transfer of matter causes the white dwarf's atmosphere to heat up gradually until it triggers a runaway thermonuclear reaction, leading to a nova outburst. This event occurs every 80 years or so. Keep in mind that a nova isn't the same as a supernova explosion. A nova refers to the sudden, brief explosion from a collapsed star known as a white dwarf, while a supernova is the explosive death of a massive star. Supernova Aside from the novelty of their nova outbursts, systems such as TCRB captivate astrophysics due to their potential as candidates for a Type 1a supernova, significant cosmic events essential for celestial mapping. When a star resembling TCRB's white dwarf accumulates sufficient mass through successive novae, it reaches a critical point where it can no longer sustain its own weight. This triggers a cataclysmic explosion known as a supernova, characterized by immense brightness. Unlike novae, which occur periodically, supernovae are singular occurrences, as their intensity ultimately leads to the destruction of the star. Type 1a supernovae hold particular significance because they consistently exhibit uniform brightness, indicating they likely originate from stars of comparable mass. Supernovae are also the main source of heavy elements in the universe. As these stars collapse, they generate a shockwave that can trigger fusion reactions in the star's outermost shell. These reactions then produce new atomic nuclei, a process known as nucleosynthesis. When a star goes supernova, the elements forged through this process are distributed throughout space. Does that mean our Sun formed after another star went supernova? The Sun and the planets formed together 4.6 billion years ago from a cloud of gas and dust called the Solar Nebula. A shockwave from a nearby supernova explosion probably initiated the collapse of the Solar Nebula. The Sun then formed in the center while the planets formed in a thin disk orbiting around it. But what provokes a supernova eruption? Massive stars undergo supernova explosions when they exhaust their fuel. In the earlier stages of a star's life where our Sun is now, they primarily burn hydrogen until it transforms into helium through fusion. The immense gravitational force compresses the hydrogen to the extent that it forms into a different element, releasing a vast amount of energy. However, once the central hydrogen supply is depleted, stars transition beyond the main sequence phase and evolve into red giants. With no hydrogen left at the core, the star begins fusing helium to create heavier elements like carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen in place of helium. 
During this process, the star will expand, its outer layers pushing outward against the gravitational force trying to pull them inward. If this were to occur with our Sun, its expansion could potentially engulf the inner planets, including Earth. So you might be wondering if our Sun will go supernova. Scientists say it's unlikely, because it lacks the two main conditions that can cause a supernova. One of the scientists, Andy Howell, an astronomer from Los Calambres Observatory in California, explains that our Sun can't go supernova because it's too small to have its core collapse, and it doesn't have a binary companion to steal matter from when the core of ash is left over as a white dwarf. Supernovas are massive, violent explosions that can transform the very nature of elements, scattering them into the universe to be absorbed by new planets, stars, and even life itself. If such an event were to occur in our cosmic vicinity, Earth would likely be affected. Some scientists propose that if our Sun were to explode as a supernova, the ensuing shock wave would not necessarily vaporize the entire planet, but rather cause significant thermal effects, potentially leading to the evaporation of the side facing the Sun. Predictions suggest that the planet's overall temperature could soar to approximately 15 times hotter than the typical surface temperature of our Sun. The last known supernova in the Milky Way occurred in 1604 and is known as the Kepler's supernova. It was observed by Johannes Kepler and is the most recent supernova in our galaxy to have been observed with the naked eye. The Origin of the Corona Borealis Nova Outburst in October 1217, the abbot of Ersberg Abbey in present-day southern Germany observed a remarkable event in the night sky. While gazing at the arched constellation Corona Borealis, he spotted a faint star that suddenly brightened significantly before dimming back to its original state. This phenomenon had been witnessed by others before him and many more after him, reoccurring roughly every 80 years. This celestial spectacle is not really a star, but a thermonuclear explosion originating from a white dwarf star located 3,000 light-years away. This white dwarf star, known as a stellar zombie, absorbs material from a neighboring red giant star until reaching full capacity roughly once a century, triggering a violent eruption lasting about a week. T. Corona Borealis is derived from a Latin word meaning new stars, which many pre-modern observers assumed them to be. TCRB last erupted in 1946, and based on its behavior, astronomers presume that its next outburst could happen any moment between now and September. When this occurs, TCRB will become visible to the naked eye. Astronomers are not merely viewing this phenomena as a spectacle, but are eager to seize this opportunity to gain further insights into novae. Novae are completely weird events, said Bradley Schaefer, an astrophysicist at Louisiana State University. However, TCRB stands out due to its irregular pattern of brightening and dimming that goes against conventional wisdom. And when TCRB experiences this phenomenon, telescopes around the world will be pointed in its direction. Why is the Nova outburst such a spectacle? This type of explosion is akin to a colossal hydrogen bomb detonating, capable of ejecting the entire atmosphere of an Earth-sized white dwarf. However, unlike the cataclysmic obliteration caused by a supernova, these events don't lead to the complete annihilation of a star. Nonetheless, their significance and awe-inspiring nature remain undiminished. Leading observatories around the world are preparing to observe and record the explosion of TCRB in various wavelengths of light, including optical, radio, and X-ray when the event occurs. For the rest of us, witnessing a new star in the night sky will be quite a sight. Interestingly, its brightness might grant city dwellers a rare advantage in observing it amid city lights. As for scientists, heading to a darker location will enhance our view. But even amid city lights, the brighter elements will stand out against the Boston glow. NASA suggests that even as it fades, observers may still catch a glimpse of the eruption for about a week using binoculars. Could the Nova outburst possibly affect or replace our Sun? While Novas are indeed powerful events, 
they do not have the capacity to create a new star that could replace our sun. Novas are more like stellar temper tantrums than evolutionary steps in the life of a star. The explosion can cause the white dwarf to brighten significantly for a short period, but it does not fundamentally alter the star's nature or lead to the creation of a new star. In contrast, the formation of a new star like our Sun involves the gravitational collapse of a giant molecular cloud composed mostly of hydrogen and helium gas. Over time, the core of this collapsing cloud becomes dense and hot enough to ignite nuclear fusion, giving birth to a new star. This process typically takes millions of years and is quite distinct from the relatively rapid and temporary burst of energy associated with a nova explosion. Therefore, while novas are fascinating cosmic phenomena in their own right, they do not have the transformative power to spawn a new star capable of replacing our Sun.